Well, TikTok a sensation, Dimagazo Ifisia Mulgechi has taken social media by a storm. A video of hers is making the rounds with one phrase in particular, a tip of the tongue response by many users. The 21-year-old, a second-year Bachelor of Education student, creates her own content using predominantly her mother tongue of a Siberi and often responds to various made-up scenarios in a humorous way. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> well, the TikTok content creator joins us now to talk more about her success on the platform. Dimagad, so risquizing in Batong. Relocating. Welcome to the program and thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much. So talk to us about your TikTok account. I mean, how did it even come about? How did you, from the top of your head, come up with this idea? Um, when I started it, uh, I wasn't even sure that I'm going to get to this point where I am now. So currently I, I'm at the top whereby this is, this just started, this just, this is just a booming. So I started it at, uh, I was at the practicals, uh, at a certain school then I was staying in a certain house whereby I, I wanted to stay there. So. One day, I came up with uh, a certain view. I was holding a, a can of brutal. Mm. I don't remember what I did say, and the video just went viral. <laughs> That's where people started to like me. Mm. So, the squeezing in video came after uh, the video that I did, the first video that went viral. So, and then it went viral, the risking in video, just after my video, my, my account was removed on the platform. So, I heard from people that, man, you are trending. Yeah. <laughs> trending with uh, 3 billion views. I mean, that is mind-blowing, right? Mm -hmm. um, how has it changed your life? Is life still the same for Dimagazo or has it changed in any way um, since you became a viral TikTok content creator? Yeah, of course you're going to change. Um, people know you now. When you go, by the way, people be screaming out your name to be saying, Resquizing in! <laughs> you are no longer an ordinary person. You are somebody in the community. Mm. In terms of many things that I wanted to reach out, I haven't reached yet, mm. but I think they will come along the way. Yeah. I mean, talk to us yeah. about, I think there's, you know, uh, the, the bravery, the courage to put your face on a platform. Uh, talk to us about that. And I, I'm also wondering if you've always had this uh, sort of com comical or humorous nature to yourself. Have you always considered yourself funny a funny person yeah yeah people from my neighborhood to know me even from school but I, I i wasn't that funny person i never thought i'm that funny but i knew that i'm funny you know but i never thought i'm not i'm that funny because like i used to i used to make some jokes to my neighbors and they'd be laughing every time when i pass by them we maybe go into the shop and greeting them with a certain joke and then they'd be laughing but i never thought i'm that funny yeah you know the other amazing thing about social media um dimagazo is the fact that so many people 
you know, launch careers and uh, pro professions, I suppose, on social media. Have you been able to, you know, monetize um, all of this fame and, you know, viralness of your content? Have people come to you uh, wanting to partner with you, wanting to work together with you? Because your phrase, is squeezing in, I mean, I'm taking it from here. I'm, 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 I'm going to use it myself. But re squeezing in is such a popular phrase. Have anyone, has anyone come forward to say that they want to work with you? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I haven't received anything yet. Maybe it's because I'm from the rulers, man. I'm so far from people. Yeah. So even if people yeah. wanted to work with me, I'm so very, very far. Yeah. So I don't think they can reach to me very easily. I'm very far. Well, this is the beautiful thing about social media. Even though you're far, you definitely have reach. Um, so do utilize that, you know, to your advantage. But something that I learned about you recently is, of course, the fact that you're studying towards this education degree. Um, talk to us about that. Is, is education something that you're passionate about? Is it something that is likely to, you know, filter through when you're working with little kids, this sort of uh, funny side to you? Um, I always wanted to be somebody who's presenting mm. and when I, I, I try to check that uh, I, I've realized that uh, the only way you can represent or you can represent every, every day is to be a teacher and when I check on the other side I love mathematics very much because of my teacher Mr. Tago but now he's no longer here uh, rest in peace to him he inspired me to this uh, platform of teaching he made me love this and then one of uh, my teachers also Mem Mato, also enhanced it to say like teaching is a very good thing and you should take it so that's where I got inspired I've always wanted to be a presenter and I, I realized that you can only present every day at school to your own learners. Yeah. How many videos do you create in a day, in a week, in a month? Is it something that you do every day? Uh, have you started coming up with, you know, mind maps to create your content or does it just come to you naturally on a random Tuesday? <laughs> no, you just wake up with an idea and spread it out. <laughs> Uh, one thing that I wanted, one thing that I wanted to ask you, Dimakatsa, is what is your problem with frontal wigs? <laughs> You're always coming for the ladies with the frontal. <laughs> no, I'm not having any any problem with people wearing the frontal. One thing that I'm saying is that when you are wearing the the frontal, don't change your nature. Then we know you. <laughs> we went to school with you. Now you are talking the English that we don't know. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> well, Dimakasa, thank you so much. I have thoroughly enjoyed our conversation and look forward to more of your TikTok videos and more of them going viral. All right, we're going to play uh, that video again of Dimakasa Ifisia Mulekeji, the viral TikTok content creator who coined the phrase re squeezing in. Let's take a look. <laughs> Hela mbana baba angwe le nal rata o tima na gado chao sereselo. Mkuta ba atwara gini nyoko. Ke ma. Kwa la ngwara hele luko di tabini. Le perdi farantal. Mutuwa che nche woko. Ibi vele si chavu lela li English. Kitene luena. Ritene li li nare ya li tiba. Kanya kwa rebu che batu. Anjwa le ki disemba. Bana ba mudimu ba. Bana ba ikiso kreste. Ba lo keche manala ba lo keche di farantal. Hushe jere nali reject. Uridiamo fasen le le na kitsebe. Ene style sa lona sa go re lsene kwa gae. Le na le no dia stropes. Mola na re go kotele di tshedisa bana a se fele. Ri squeezing in le rena re nya ka go ba go ana mo industry. Re lokele.